we're going to put a toolbox in there. We're going to put a staff only door here once it's built. Because some genius, you know, screwed the pooch on that last time. Just watch you don't screw the pooch. Like there's not dumps or garbage bins right here. Oh, it has an A320 in the morning. We will accept that. Let's go ahead and start dropping these in here. So, arrow time. It's going to be 0600, gate A1. Howdy, howdy, folks. A-Train here with you for another episode of Sim Airport in Early Access. We are back at our airport, and it is day 20 of operations. Looks like we got some weather in the area right now. We took a little bit of a hit in airline interest. Uh, let's take a quick look at our... That's Pax AI decisions. Uh, that's where it used to be. Let's go jank here. All right, let's see if we lost any flights. Nope, looks like everybody's still on board with us. So that's good. We didn't lose anything over our cluster from yesterday of uh, doing our restroom rearrangement. And it uh, some doofus causing a little bit of a meltdown. Now, I'm looking here, and I'm just finding this interesting. It just looks a little dark. So we'll see what happens here. But uh, it is the night time. I did see something in a little bit of the post uh, edit when I was going through and kind of goofing around looking at some things. So if you go to something like your bag scanner here, okay, you left click on it, it says repair now. It says no data available. Hmm. Let's see if we can get data available on it. I, I was seeing something that said, and I don't know if they backed down off this or not, but it said like 24%. Now, to do repairs, there's a new deal. Let me go ahead and pause again here. Um, you have to go into objects, I believe it is, and there is a toolbox locker. Okay. You have to have one of these in the airport for your uh, your workers to be able to go and do repairs on things like the toilets and things that, you know, do stuff, okay? So we're going to keep that in mind. We're going to try to throw that into the mix here today. In fact, I'm thinking this might be a good place for it right here. Maybe there we might could put, this would cost a little bit of money. We're not going to be able to do this right now because we're we're basically broke. Um, we could put a staff only door right here and then just build a little room right here. In fact, I kind of like that idea. I kind of like that because this space is going to go dead basically with the way the C the CFO's office is right here. And the, you know, you see the green line around the medium hangar. There's not a whole lot we're going to be able to do with that area. I think there's only three squares worth of height there. In fact, I can pretty much tell you there is. So here's one and this desk is too wide. So that's two and three. And then you can see the wall, you can't get to the wall. So whatever this is, it's going to have to have wall around it, and it's only going to be two squares high. I think that would be um, a good place for uh, the locker, the tool locker, and uh, possibly future electronic stuff, because you got to do your um, PA speaker, amplifier, H all this willy foo foo crap. All right? That would be a good place for that. So, uh, let's keep that in mind. And let's get rolling here. And get into the day's flight operations. Man, it's dark. Am I missing something here? I'm... I'm just wondering... Oh, okay. Here's something. Now, this stuff is sitting out here in the middle of, you know, God's green earth, as it were. We put windows in here. It's dark though. Okay, now it's starting to lighten up. Let me see. Let's go back to objects. Maybe there's something new here that I've missed. ATC. All right. What I'm looking for is lighting. There's outdoor floodlights, outdoor pole lights. 
I didn't see anything indoor related. So, could call the tables and stuff. That no, I, I don't see anything indoor related. So that's kind of odd. All right, our first flight should be coming in a minute. The bartender ought to be here on duty. There they are. They're ready to hook people up with a drinky drink before they board, board the aircraft. All right, and once that first flight gets in, here it is. We're gonna make some money, and now we're gonna start getting into the positive for the day. All right. Let's see how many folks are going out on this flight. No data. Generic aircraft. What what am I missing here? Passenger time breakdown. Highlight passengers break deadlock force departure. Okay, that was interesting. All right, next flight's on the deck. No, have I missed a build update or something here? This just looks goofy. It's not telling us how many packs are going out on it. Let's pause it here. Passenger time breakdown. Departing packs by category. Boarding 30 minutes. Rest. Board. Huh. Well, that's okay. Okay, this is interesting. So this looks like some new stuff. Ah, 110 total departing packs. That should really be in a more prominent location, I would think. Um, it was available when you just moused over it the other day. So apparently there's been some change. All right, that's fine. Whatever, we'll deal with it. Okay, um, what I want to do here is is move some stuff. Um, Trying to think, because we got windows right here. That's one, two, three, four, five, five tiles wide, two, four, five. Uh, I could put the garbage can there, so we'd only need four tiles. I mean, I guess we could put it in uh, dismantle profit for sale 501. Really? Electronics building profit for sale. Those are five dollars and a penny. That's kind of goofy. Go with that. Let's do food. Five dollars and a beer. Okay. Because now it looks like you your increments are by the quarter. Okay. All right. So let's um, let's dismantle this ATM machine, and we're just we're we're going to dismantle it, get it in inventory, which should all be there right now. And we'll check over here. Objects, ATM machine one in stock. We'll put it right there. Garbage can. I just want to get these guys out of the way. And then we'll take the electronics vending machine out of the, out of the way. And the garbage can. Uh, let's see here. Rotate. That's a good spot for it. Let's put that there. All right. Electronics vending. We got one in stock. That'll go here. And then we'll take this uh, food vending machine out of, out of commission here for a minute. Now, we're not spending any additional money, so we want to make sure we wait until... Let's see if I'm hovering over it, if it changes. I'll see it until I had to move off of it. We're going to put that right there. Okay, so that's going to put our vending there and open our space up here. Because in the end, what we want to do is move all these benches here. Or get new benches and move them over here. Probably reorient them this way because it'll look smoother with the, the flow of people coming through. We can lose. Uh, we can leave those there for now. But what I think I'll do is uh, we're gonna wait for the overnight hour here. Wait for the overnight hours, and then we'll uh, we'll jump in and deal with it. Okay. So let's um, let's again let's check this. F oh, passenger time breakdown. That's what I want. Ninety-eight. Total departing packs. General aircraft. Yeah, this must be a patch they put out this week that I missed. Just a little thing. It's not much, but it's just enough to, uh, well, have caught my attention, that's for sure. Um, okay. Now, we do have some cash. So let's look at starting. Uh, let's go ahead and price out what this is going to cost. Uh, construction, foundation. So see, we can't build there. We could build all this. It's only going to be fifteen thousand. 
that's kind of more than I was wanting to spend at the moment. So let's just do this. Let's just spend, see we can't go up there. This will give us uh, two by three in that space. And uh, we'll, we're gonna put a toolbox in there. We're gonna put a staff only door here once it's built some genius you know screwed the pooch on that last time and uh all right so down here is do, 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 staff door all right we'll put a staff door there and then we're going to put a toolbox locker uh requires a maintenance zone okay so we're going to turn this into a maintenance zone do, 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 maintenance zone. Okay, so now it's a maintenance zone. I'll go back to objects. Go back down to the bottom. Toolbox locker, $1,000. And we'll put one of those in there. Minimum size file, 5x5. Five five. What? Oh, get the, really? That's dumb as hell. All right, I guess we're not going to do that then. Gee, many Christmas. All right, let's decommission this. That was a waste of damn money then. Um, hmm. Well, what do we want to do here? We can take out this staff door. We can reinstall it. We can put the wall back in place because it is contained. <laughs> um, all right, let's... Take this out. Crap. Oh, it's uh, it's overnight. All right, screw that. That can wait. Actually, no. We'll go ahead and uh, dismantle the staff door. Get in here. Get that out of the way. Oh, well, okay. There's someone coming to dismantle it already. Okay, so now we're going to go into construction and go clear all this. We're going to just clear the whole kit and... Well, okay. Hmm. Think on this for a minute here. <laughs> I'm going to clear this for now. Let's get this done. Like a NASCAR pit crew. All right, cool. All right, so that staff door has been removed. And I guess... Yeah, the wall piece is... Um, is missing so let's put the wall piece back in construction supplies 150 all right we'll get that taken care of puts us back where we were okay so now that's there all right very good and then we can go to the top and go to demolish and we'll just demolish this section which doesn't cost any money. That should give us some concrete back in the inventory, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so now we took all the benches out. Uh, let's see here. I'm kind of, oh, you know, I'm kind of thinking it would be cool at some point. Maybe not right now. So my intention is going to be to widen, let's see here, uh, planning. Let's use the planning tool because planning. Uh, widen out, all right, this corridor here, uh, this, this exit corridor, we're going to turn it into a corridor, okay, and build a wall along here, all right, so basically then people would come in through security and then they would go down this corridor, this will be open space here, this wall will not be here, this wall will not be here, so that will be the back and forth movement area. And then this will be seating and, and whatnot. Okay. That's that's the eventual plan here. Now, real quick, let's just price that out. What's that going to cost? Um, Fifty-eight thousand dollars. Okay. So it's going to cost fifty-eight grand to pull that off. And the reason why I was kind of ho hum and dee 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 and all that stuff about. It, because I was kind of thinking maybe about putting like a half wall here, a partial wall, maybe four or five tiles, just so we can put, then line up benches around it, and that will direct traffic out this way and down that way, as opposed to everybody shooting straight through. You see what I'm saying? So, 
I'm kind of liking that idea. And these guys are probably going to get moved again. Um, what would probably happen is we extend this over another row. So then the blue row is, is actually inside the airport and the wall would be here uh, adjacent to it. And that stuff would wind up along that wall. Maybe we'll put some kiosks and stuff in because we got this one over here. That can be over here out of the way. I kind of want to keep it out of the way of the seating and the boarding area. So what we could do here is just dismantle this garbage bin. Let's just get that done here real quick. Yep, okay, good. Now, um, let's put a wall in right here. And you know what? Screw it. We'll just make that work. Yeah, let's make that work that way. Okay. Uh, that way it gives us a little bit of space over here, and we can always chop it off. Uh, and then go back to the objects and go back to our benches, which we've got six in stock. We're going to rotate those, and we're going to put those here. And then we'll go here. We'll go here. 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 And here. <clears throat> now, we've got those in place. We could always put another one when we want to buy one along here. Yeah, you know, we can buy one. What the heck. I want to put the garbage can back there, though. And uh, there, I think that's good. So we just added a little bit of additional seating for the gate. And we got two garbage bins in stock. Because that's left, that's up. We'll put those there. Uh, we're going to put in an additional gate agent desk. And we're going to probably decommission one of these, uh, is what I'm thinking. So we'll put this gate agent desk here. Wait, if I put it here, that gives me a little bit of room to play with. If I put, um, let's see, do, 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 do. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to decide if I want to set the queue lines up like this right so it would enter here zigzag and then boom hit it here and then go over <clears throat> or um, I could set it up here that still leaves a gap on this side of it and room for another bench which is not too bad uh, yeah you know what let's give this a shot we can always move it and queue line Expand Q. All right, so we're going to run this way to this way to this way to this way to this way. Okay, so there is a third uh, Q. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, we'll set this guy up here, and then once that gets built. Uh, we've got extra staff standing around because some idiot hired, thought he was hiring additional security and was actually hiring staff people. So, all right, very good. There we go. Now, so we can assign this to gate A1, boom. And then we don't need flight crews. This is going to be coach passengers. This is going to be coach passengers. And this will be first class. Um, and then for giggles, we'll put a couple extra benches down here for now. I know we took them out, but whatever. Okay. I think that will work. I don't think that that's too bad at all. Not a bad setup. Okay, let's uh, let's make this happen here, and uh, run through our next day. We're gonna make some start making some cash. Start working on our expansion here. Uh, we can close this down. So we got four security lines. Three are for. Uh, well, we've got four lines, two Q lines for uh, coach, one Q for first class and air crew, flight crew. All right. See, so we bounce back up to 64% approval by the airlines. That's good. Uh, we got more seating. That's good. We got our electronics vending. That's good. 
and we're working our deal here. All right, cool. Things are looking pretty good here at the old airport. We got a lot of people still going through the um, do I have yeah I do have that set up okay so that they'll handle anybody all right that's good all right so there goes our first flight out very good next flights in see how nice and neat it looks now though I'm wondering why the walls are dark that's interesting that's a change and wait a minute the whole thing is dark that's weird okay um, I mean it's almost like it's in utilities view so that must be a bug because everything's lit up around it alright so it's like it's in underground view all right, so something goofy's going on. I wonder if I'm going to have to uh, rerun this game. Because sometimes they release these patches, and you basically have to ditch a saved game and then come back and and then uh, you know, start from zero. Not like we got a whole lot of room to go. I may well do that. I may try that. When I finish up this episode here, um, I may well... Uh, just um, start, uh, just rebuild this over. Basically, the, you know, the same thing. It's not rocket science. Rebuild it the same way, and then see what um, what happens as far as maybe maybe those changes will work in a, a, a new game, and we won't see the dark walls, the darkened in area, and the goofy stuff here. Let's see if this is working then. Uh, we're new. Debug tool. Um, hmm. Sector display, secure areas, environmental heat map. Oh, hey! I like it. Look here. Wait, whoops. No, there must be some litter or something. Um... Let's pause here for a second. Hold on. Okay. I, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. This is something I brought up several months ago. Notice the, the plants here are creating a nice little environmental, you know, uh, effect, which is good. Now, over here, notice you're getting a little glow in this area. Well, there's windows. So it looks like the windows are having a positive effect on the environmental uh, heat map, which is good. They should. So let's just try putting windows in all along uh, here. And then uh, I'm not going to on this side. This is just going to be an experiment. So we'll just see how this works. This is all janked up right here, too. I don't know why it's doing that. People aren't getting in the line. Okay, now see, that's lit up red. I'm, that's really kind of weird. I'm seeing red lit areas. Let's see what, 60% full, 18% full. I mean, there's nobody here. <clears throat> so why is it all red? Revenue today, zero. Shoot, this is made $2,250 today. I'm going to cut that down, but I just want 10 There we go. Okay. Um, let's try this. Let's try plopping down do, 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 this decorative plant. For now, let's just plop and see what effect that has. I'm doing a little experimentation here. I mean, because normally it would go red if there was like a piece of trash or something, but I'm not seeing any reason for these areas to go red like this, except there's a bunch of people. Are they all like, is it just they're noisy, they're farting? What's going on there? Okay, is this built now? It's built. It's had no effect. 
that don't make no damn sense. All right, let's put a garbage bin over here because there should be a garbage bin. Uh, let's just put it right here on this wall. Maybe the bar creates environmental issues or whatever. Huh. That's odd. All right, we're going to try to improve things a little bit here with some of the um, plants. So we'll put, put like one here and one here. And put one here here and one here and then um, yeah so yeah that's cre creating some some benefit all right maybe this guy doesn't create anything let's try putting a potted plant we got two tiles there to work with put one there and let's see what that does we may be getting rid of this decorative plant here. Boink. Green. Wow. Boy, it didn't offset much, did it? Huh. Well, that's interesting. It, it, it works when there's nobody around, so that's super. Thanks for asking. Okay, so the last flight is out of here for the night. Uh, we got $23,000. Um, I know we've... we've one thing we had mentioned, I'm going to look into construction here. So we needed a 5x5 five five area for this maintenance area, right? So that's going to require 6x5. Um, 6, that's going to require 6x6. Six six. Because it's really going to need, actually, 7. 7x7, seven seven, which we can do 7x6, seven right? So... Um, the existing wall of the building is one, then we need five empty spaces, and then we need another space for the outside wall. So that's going to take six, right? Uh, and then width-wise, we don't have an existing wall, so we're going to need wall, five inside, and then uh, wall. All right, that's going to take more money than we've got, so screw that stiff. So for now, we've kind of run through another couple of days here. Uh, we got a little bit of cash made up. Go ahead and get, rid, get this airplane out of here. All right, so that gets them out of here. We're heading into another day. We spruced up the terminal a little bit. I uh, added a new wall in, and we've discovered a couple of bugs. That may not be bugs necessarily. It may just be that they've made some some changes to the code that are incompatible with a uh, existing save. So I'm going to try to work on that behind the scenes here and see what I can figure out uh, if that changes things or not. Uh, and gets us out of the dark, as it were, because we're in the dark right now. So, hope you enjoyed the episode, and you can see now the effects of how plants work on the environmental heat map. All right, you can see the information heat map here too. All right, that's the information boards, the flight info displays. All right, and that positively affects your your uh, your packs' um, mental state if they need information. The more area the more time they spend in an area where it's covered for the flight information board that's good uh, if their concerns the environment then the more they spend time in an area that's um, you know green so ideally along here for example if I could have like a plant basically every other bench that would be beneficial because then it would create a nice big green zone right and those people are sitting there for a while so that's going to positively affect your scores and it'll raise your passenger satisfaction. See how environment's 41, right? That is due to the green, all right? You, you want the, the more time they spend in green areas, the higher their response will be to the environmental question. How do you feel about it? Oh, I like the environment. Well, there's windows we can see and there's plants. It's pretty and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, uh, those are those are important things to know that you don't just discount the um, plants in the information board. Uh, the information boards are really a logical thing. Yes, you're going to want to have those in the airport, uh, but there's a purpose for them. Uh, so be cognizant of that, and then use your your little reports down here at the bottom right uh, to check on you know where 
you have stuff and where you don't, right? So, oh, I wonder if I just had that turned on. I guess maybe I had it turned on. Well, doofus, I guess we just figured that out. So if you have this turned on, it's going to make your stuff look dark. So <laughs> turn that off. I don't know which I had on. That's weird. Okay. Anyway, uh, so questions, comments, constructive criticism are welcome in the comments section below. I want to thank you for joining us for this episode of Sim Airport, now available in early access on Steam. Link in the description below. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, learn something maybe a little bit, or uh, this helps you any. Uh, maybe you just like my voice. Hey, that's cool. Uh, give us a like. We appreciate that. And uh, share with your buds. Let them know about Sim Airport. Uh, let them know about the channel. And subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. Appreciate it. Hope you have a great week, uh, no matter where you are across planet Earth. Check in below. Say hi in the comments and let us know where you are. Uh, we appreciate hearing from you. So um, have a great one. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out.